Hey, good people. So today is a lovely, what's today? Tuesday. Today's a lovely Tuesday and I'm just jumping on to say hello for a few ticks. Um, I just finished a PM meeting and I got a little bit other stuff to do before I kind of get, um, before I complete this day, I got to run some errands, got to go to the bank, got to go to Costco, some good stuff like that. But today is also election day. So my hope for you is that you made your voice heard, that you got out and voted. And when you voted, hopefully you voted in your best interest. What's going to be good for you, your loved ones, the people you care about, you know, not just a one-sided vote because, you know, you like the person, but do you like their policies, their beliefs, and what they're able to do or, you know, all that other good stuff. I hope you guys rock the vote. I did. And yeah, that part. But anyways, that's what I'm going to go do on this lovely Tuesday. You guys light up the comments. Let me know what you guys are into. What are you guys going to go do? I see how to take this thing off again. Um, yeah, I just came on to say hi. I'm about to hurry up and boogie and take care of some stuff. And then I will get back with you guys on the other side. Hi, guys. Mom. Hey, y'all. Today is Wednesday. I am headed to school right now and I'm checking in. We're checking in to say hi. <laughs> um, so we're gonna we have some stuff planned for you guys. We're gonna make a little series out of it. We're getting we? yes, we're making like a little two, three day series out of it. Oh. We're getting our house ready for Thanksgiving, you guys. So we are going to be okay. We are going to be decorating different parts of the house using our own creative imagination to get it done and by the end meaning by thanksgiving day our house should be beautiful and very very decorated that's you know if we're you know on it as we should so we will see you guys we'll show you guys some of that in the upcoming clips or videos what do you want to yeah clip? in the upcoming clips in the yeah. upcoming clips and we'll take you around separately and together and just show you some stuff we're thinking about and pan out a vision also we should probably try to get our pantry stuff done huh because we did you know um i think saturday morning we probably need to go to the donation place and take that last box that we have we yeah. have a last box of dishes you guys that we need to go ahead and donate already we got a lot of the other stuff out the way some of the bigger stuff and i think that's the last box that we need to get out the way and then we can start dealing with shelving new shelving for the pantry right yeah okay so actually we need to keep our eyes bugged open for that what we want to do i wish they had a home goods next to us you know that i want to go to ikea home goods, um has a lot of great stuff so i, I wish they had one closer to us mm -hmm. um Okay, go ahead. <laughs> so I was just going to say, we'll stay tuned and we'll catch you guys later. Bye. Hey, hey, everybody. It's your girl, Planet Tie on deck. And I'm with my baby girl, Penelope. We hope you guys are having a great day, afternoon, and our evening whenever you guys are seeing this. So today is a lovely... What are we? What's Wednesday. Today? Wednesday. Okay. So I am picked up from school. She picks me up on my break um, because I'm headed to an appointment. Do, do, do. A doctor's appointment, you guys everything's fine so no worry anyways so what else do we have to tell the people today i don't know too much that's going on today um we'll probably have some de lunch some pizza um i'm not too sure of what's too much stuff going on today i know we still have not found the ideal um storage for our pantry. storage for our pantry yeah which we were looking for and yeah we didn't have we didn't find the ideal stuff as of yet but yeah so we may go ahead and peek at some of that stuff you guys did you what did you guys think about um if you guys didn't answer the comments before what did you guys think about our our halloween faces because that was fun to do um especially the video with the blooper stuff that was hilarious this one's yeah. a joke stretch just cracks me the crap up um anyways what else do we have to tell them right now um nothing besides that we'll check back in with you guys when we actually have something interesting to do yeah and you know what <clears throat> sorry hi that messes it up it looks like a youtube but course. i can do it when i want to do it and if i want to do it okay bye guys here bye All right, guys, so today's a lovely Sunday morning. You gonna say hi to the vlog? I'll say hi to the vlog. Today's a lovely Sunday morning. It's my baby girl, Penelope. Batman. It's our love bug, Batman. And we're just making it to the pet clinic. And as you guys see, there's already a line. 
we've been, it took us a minute to get here and quite frankly, some loops and all that other stuff. And we're a little bit concerned about how this boy's gonna act getting here because he is scary Jerry. But we still have to get in this line and a cute doggy. We have to get in this line and wait our turn, but I'm not really sure. Are you going to the clinic? Yes. So you go in and then you're going to fill out a clipboard okay. with your doggy information and then they're going to put you in line. So oh, then okay. Call you then so they'll yeah, call you us. Got, yeah, Thank you, you so much. No okay. Problem. I was just going to stand here. Yeah. Okay. Um, let me. Come on. Just pick them up. Batman does not, he doesn't want to come down here. He don't, he sees, he sees, look at him. He sees all the other little puppies and he don't want to come down here, but we got to go fill out this clipboard. So he needs to come down here. All right, you guys, I'm going to go in, get this paperwork started. Number two, Landon. Excuse me. I know, it's okay, baby. So I'm gonna fill this out. I'm gonna put it back. And then we're gonna get, look at all the other little cuties. Okay, come on. I have to fill this out and turn it back in though. Like, hold on, let me just stand here for a second. I have to fill it out literally and turn it back in. You're gonna turn off the camera so you can just fill it out. Beelzebub the cat? Beelzebub? Alright, that's a little baby. He was trying to escape that box. Did you find him outside? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna go walk over there. Alright guys, so I filled out my clipboard. I was assigned number 34. Um, so, and then my baby girl Penelope went back to the car with Batman because he was really freaking out. And, <laughs> so cute. He was really freaking out and not wanting to be around all the big boys and big dogs. He was like shivering like a leaf on, on a tree. Um, so I'm gonna go back for a little bit, but I'm number 34, so I'm gonna have to stand up there to, with all those people to make sure that when my number's called, I can go on over there. But I did fill it out. And tonight you got another dog, don't call. Oh, you was not being a good little puppy of God. What was that? What was that, Batman? What was that? Why are you hiding at the granny dress? <laughs> what was that about? So, um, I'm currently waiting for my number to be called. I'm going to show them the picture of the vaccine he got before. Um, and I'm having them put me in as a new client. And if she would have stayed, I would have had to put him in her name what? as the owner. Because Jackie, you oh, yeah. are the you owner. Why didn't you say my name? Because I put mine because you left. Me? No, I don't know. I don't mean actually. I don't know if they're gonna ask for when we come back in. And if, if when we come back in, we can just we can change it and put. Who's your son? Why is he shit? Look at him. He's shivering under. What? Look at him, you guys. Can you see him? He's shivering under my dress. Don't laugh for him. <laughs> You're not the one holding him, and his claws are going in your shoulders. Okay, so, so he's clawing Penelope down. Because why was he filming like that? Y'all, I was looking Man, crazy. You, Nobody told me. Get you got that bad. Stop. Okay. Well, anyways, guys, I'm just gonna. I guess I'm just gonna hang out. Um, I'm doing. I'm gonna have to stay closer to make sure I don't miss my turn once they call the number. So, um, I guess I'll just see you guys after and see how Batman's doing. If he's acting like a beautiful little puppy of God or not, we'll see. Cause I heard he wasn't being a good little boy. We'll see. All right, I'll catch you guys in a minute. Hey y'all. So today's Thursday and um, yesterday was election day. I am doing what pays the bills, which is sitting my tail down working. And um, I'm, a I'm actually taking a quick lunch break right, na right now. And I made a Frito pie. Y'all, can y'all get into this? I'm going to insert a picture to make sure y'all can see her real good. But anyways, I've been watching 
clips of people making Frito Pies, but they mix all the ingredients together and just make it like a slop, but I'm gonna taste mine individually, kind of. So um, anyways, we have the Scooper Frito Chips. And in mine, I didn't see them do it, but I did it. Um, I really like these um, beef hot dogs from Costco. So I cut them up and grilled them. Grilled them, cut them up, whatever else. Then there's pico de gallo in here. There's cheese in here, sour cream. And baby, a good time. So I said, I'm going to go ahead and have my lunch with y'all. My little the lunch. And, um, and just tap in real quick. So now let's get it out the way. In regards to that election, nothing more than an epic fail. Just an epic, you know. But then again, you know, over the next four years, a lot of people, they they understood the assignment at the polls and they know what to do over the next four years. Minding our damn business. Um, mm. But this Frito Pie, though. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. No, this right here. Mmm. If you guys haven't tried this, mmm, it's worth the try. And of course, you feed a pot however you do. Put whatever you want on yours. I put what tastes good to me. You put what tastes good to you. One thing that I will see one thing I will see, <laughs> I see it too, but one thing I will say is that I feel like not on all social media platforms, on some, so well, one, let me tell you guys the observation. A lot of people on social media platforms like Instagram and Facebook have started deleting and blocking people. People have started unfollowing people left and right. Huh. That's your prerogative. Do what you want to do. You guys, this country, it, this is probably like the second time in my, my history since I've been alive that I can say that this country has been so divided. Like, so divided. I mean, as I read on different social media platforms, I see where people are saying they're separated from their families. You know, they're, they're considered outcasts because they did not vote, you know, for, for homeboy to win. And people are separated. They're very much so divided. The only other time in my history that I can say that I've I've observed this drastic separation and big division was during the election when he first won. When he first won, it was so much people. It was a, the thick, very thick air of hate that just was emanating all over. It was all over. It was just unnerving in some ways. And now... I think it's starting to have a different effect, which I really, really like. It's like, you know, this thing was announced. And as much as I don't agree with it, as much as I think it was, it, it's fraudulently so, it was likely stolen somehow. This is my personal beliefs, okay? That this was not, this ain't no real thing, you know? But anyways, I do think that it has the effect where I've seen it bridging a lot of people together, you know? A lot of, well, definitely a lot of black people together. I'll say that more specifically, especially a lot of black women. Women, We have definitely been showing up for each other. We have been cleaving on each other. We have been loving on each other. And I love everything about that because that's what we should have been. You know, a lot of us were already doing this. Some of us just needed a, hey, sis, reminder, a little tap on the shoulder, a little love hug or something else like that. Some of us just needed that. And I am happy to see that. So out of every thing that appears to be a disaster or a big upset or whatever else there's something good that can come out of it and if there's something good that comes out of that this is us bridging and cleaving together and supporting one another and loving on each other harder i'll, I'll accept that too because that i love everything about that for us you know i love y'all enough to give y'all some of my free old day hmm. look at that Now, I have been trying my best to disconnect from a lot of this BS because I swear, last thing I want to hear or see on any of my timeline is somebody celebrating right now. Like, this is a victory. 
Any of that will be blocked, deleted, unfriended. I won't tolerate no bull stuff. Especially not nobody. Oh, I'm so happy about this. Hey, mm -mm, nah, not going to be doing that. But aside of that, I have been trying to stay off some of the stuff, not watching the news like that and all that, because I really want to move away from that, begin the process of the healing, rebuilding, and what else is going on in life, because something I was just saying the other day is, regardless of what the outcome is, or it was already, of the election, Ren and Morgan is still going to be doing the first. It doesn't matter who's sitting in that seat. Hey, your pg e bill, your light, your gas, that's still going to be due. Your car note, if you have one, that's going to be due. Your water bill, that's still going to be due. You need some groceries? As high as they are based on <clears throat> previous things he had signed in place, that's going to be due. Right? Don't matter who's going to sit in that seat. On the, on the mundane level, you still got to survive. You, as in we, as in human beings in the USA, we still do. That is a fact. I got to go get Penelope soon. Oh, in about a, um, under an hour. So, I'm going to enjoy some of these now. All of them. And then I also got me a bottle of water. Drink. You guys. So the chili on here. I, I told y'all it was chili. Frito. Yeah, well, the chili on here is um, the Hormel Chili. Hormel. I don't know if I pronounced that right. And it has, I got the one that has no beans. Even though I do like the beans, I just, I don't know if I like the beans they put in there. Um, but again, if you decide to make it, you put on yours, whatever you want to. Write right up the comments, let me know if y'all gonna try this. I should have showed y'all how I made it, huh? But I was like, I'm crunched for time. Let me just go ahead and get this food ready. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna go, y'all. <laughs> Tell me what y'all having for lunch and what y'all think. Love you. Talk later. Bye. Hey y'all, today is a lovely Friday and I'm out here with Bestie. Bestie, say hi. Say hi, Bestie. She'll be here on the house. And we are out here watching the movie Venom. That's oh, why I turned it back with y'all. It's a lovely Friday night. We finna go see Venom. Done heard this movie. We seen part one and two. And I guess this might be like the final thing. I don't know if they gonna ever do another one again. I heard that they're not. My baby girl Penelope, she already went to go see Venom. My boyfriend, she was like, Mom, you gotta see it. It is good. It is really good. So we are here. Then my baby girl Jason, it was good. So we are here to see for ourselves. And we'll come back to tell you guys how it is. All right, guys, so I just got finished watching the movie Venom, and um, it's pretty good. It was pretty good. Like, so my baby girl, Penelope, she watched it first, and my other sweetie, PJ, they watched it first, right? And they was like, oh, Venom is good. It's this and this. Look at all this oil in my face. They was like, it's good. It's this and it's that. Sheesh, Louise. I got enough. Look at this. <laughs> anyway. There's like, it's good, you gotta see it, whatever else. So, of course, yes, I saw it. It was pretty good, it had a little, little touchy scene at the end. I'm not gonna spill it. Uh, spoil, spill it, spoil it, I won't do either, okay? But it was pretty good, nice action movie to complete this Friday. Hey, y'all, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna let this vlog go right here and just start another one for this weekend. But if you guys are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for being on deck. You know I appreciate it. Um, please make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment so I know if you're in the audience, I could talk to you. I love talking to the people in the comments and getting to know y'all. So please say something. You know that part. Um, and if you're returning, love you lots. Thank you so much for being back. Y'all, it's a lovely Friday and it's a three-day weekend. So I don't know when you're going to see this um, video, but thank you for being on deck. Y'all stay tuned. Check me out. Keep rocking with me. I keep rocking with y'all. See you later. Bye.
Hey y'all, so today is a lovely Friday night, right? And I'm sitting up here chilling. I was just watching some SWAT on a TV. Cause SWAT, I don't care. I love that show. But um, anyways, and I think they did, didn't they just get some new seasons? I think they did. If they didn't, um, I'm late, whatever, doesn't matter. But anyway, SWAT is good. So I was watching some SWAT and then, you know, I took a little intermission break and I started reading this story and I was like, ah, oh, yeah, now y'all know I gotta go up here and tell y'all about what I read. Cause I want you guys to give me your opinion. I'm sitting up here and my baby boy Batman is all up in my space. If he come over here, I'm gonna put him on camera. But he's too busy playing with socks. So let me tell you guys this story right quick. Okay. So this person says, I'm a 44-year-old female and I just had major surgery last week. I'm at home recovering and off of work for two weeks. Um, within four to six weeks recommended before re resuming life as normal. Right? So the doctor recommended four to six weeks. They're supposed to be off for two. They just had surgery last week. Right? Look, I said if he come over, I'm going to put him on and look at him all up on me. Anyways... <laughs> The, okay, anyways, my partner, 42-year-old male, informed me late yesterday afternoon that his son, 13, a 13-year-old male, was having five friends for a sleepover tonight. It's now Saturday where I live. I had no prior knowledge that he'd, that he'd allowed his son to organize this, and it's for no special reason. It's just because. I was instantly upset. I asked why he would agree to that, not only without speaking to me first, but also <clears throat> when I'm just home from the hospital and recovering from major surgery. His response was that he didn't think it would affect me, and he, did, and he just forgot to mention it. I started crying, saying that I felt so uncared for and that he was being inconsiderate of my feelings and recovery. He continued to reiterate that he didn't see how it should affect me and that it wasn't a big deal. He suggested that if it bothered me that much, I can go and stay at my mom's for the night. I didn't wait until the next day. I packed a suitcase and drove myself to my mom's right then, even though I'm not supposed to be driving yet. He has sent messages saying I'm overreacting and that he still doesn't think it's a big deal. I don't understand how he thinks an additional five teenage boys in a house with one toilet and living in the living space right next to our one bedroom where I'm supposed to be resting and recovering won't affect me. Am I the a-hole for leaving right away when in fact I don't think I should have when in fact I don't think I should have left at all? I think the sleepover should have been canceled for another time. Um and, the, and then the person updated and said the surgery was for removal of an ovary fallopian tubes along with, you know, some solid mass they found on her. Now, first and foremost, let me say this. I can relate to this lady in regards to, you know, if you have to have something major done with you. Let me just tell you guys, if you never had to experience that, praise God immediately. Praise God immediately. Um, because the whole thing about trying to recover from major surgery is one you never know how you're going to feel. You never know if you'll ever be the same ever again. Some people never make it out of major surgeries. Let's be so for real. Now, the, you know, when they recommend the four to six weeks for you to be off work and, you know, just take it easy and to have no activities or, or mild activities, it's really because your body really needs that time to heal. Like literally, no heavy lifting, no doing your normal stuff. You know, you try to walk as much as you can. You know, it might even hurt to use the bathroom. So the thing about it is, her being the only woman, why would she want to be in a house full of five teenage boys and a 42-year-old man who's an idiot, in my opinion? Because I, I say this because I don't know for the life of him, why would he think those five boys would have to be in a one-bedroom apartment with his son having a sleepover just because... And your partner just got out of surgery. To me, that says you don't care much for your partner. You couldn't think too highly of her if it wasn't even a second thought that she might need some alone time for recovery. You know, I could just think of different situations other people I knew about when they had surgeries and stuff like that, how they really needed their downtime. It was like really essential. They like, you know, they could talk on the phone to people a little bit at a time, but you got to keep in mind when people don't have surgeries and stuff like that, for a good period of the time, they're on medication. Like whether it be heavy pain medicine, you know, some of the stuff makes them drowsy or sleepy. They probably don't walk the same. It probably hurts to use the restroom. So they're moving very slow and in a lot of pain. Who would want to be around somebody like that when they're really weak and even feeling, possibly feeling lethargic? Why would they want to be around someone like that? I don't know. I feel like that was a 
completely inconsiderate thing to do of the partner. And I just don't know that he sees her in a very high regard because he says, well, if it's that big of a deal to you, you can go stay with your mom. Wait, I'm sorry. Did you say I can go stay with my mom? You would rather for me to leave rather than just to tell your 13 year old kid, Hey, dad made a bad decision. I totally for it slipped my mind that whomever was going to have to have surgery, you know, let's schedule it for, you know, a week or two out or, you know, a couple of weeks from now so we can make sure she can heal and get better. You know, we don't want to, yeah, we share space. So let's make sure it could be, you know, a safe environment, comfortable environment for us all. I just don't get the rationale behind this guy, but you guys light up the comments way in. You guys know, I always want to know your thoughts and how you feel. Batman, why are you crying? Hey, hey, why are you crying? How would you have done that, Batman? Come here, come tell the people. Come tell them what you was going to do about it. Did you want them to be able to stay? How are you crying because you wanted the kids to be able to be there? Is that it? Are you crying because that poor lady? Because the poor lady. I think he crying, y'all, because even he know it was wrong. Batman know it was wrong. Right, Batman? He done ran out of here. <laughs> okay, enough of the stuff. Um, like the comments and let me know your thoughts.